Okay, here we have a 2007 Multicam CNC router. This is a 3000 series plate frame machine with a 50 by 100 inch work area. Comes with a 10 horsepower Multicam positive displacement pump and six position automatic tool changer. Here we're taking a look inside the electrical cabinet. You see the 2521 motherboard. And down in the lower left, we have the four Technic servo drives. Go ahead and power this machine up. See all the lights turning on. And then we'll go ahead and show you the keypad. We have the internal software is booting up and loading. This machine, of course, comes with a multicam handheld controller, which is one of the easiest to use interfaces in the industry. Once the drives have been enabled, we're going to go ahead and home this machine. First thing is the machine will move up in the Z-axis. Then it will continue in both X and Y. Next, the keypad will ask us if we want to do a spindle warm-up. We'll go ahead and say yes. The nice thing about the newer models, it will do the warm-up in the rear center position of the machine, which is the safest position to warm up the spindle. We'll get a close-up shot of the spindle running from underneath. It's hard to hear the spindle because the spindle is so quiet, and what you will be hearing mostly is the sound of the air, of the compressed air-cooled spindle. The next thing we're going to do is run a sample file. We like Enroute CAD CAM software. And you can purchase Enroute with any of our machines. And Enroute will also work with nearly any CNC router on the market today. We're going to go ahead and run this file with two circles and two squares with the tool change in between. Now we're not running with dust collection or the vacuum. This way you can hear all the sounds of the machine running without the auxiliary equipment. But because we don't have the dust collection or vacuum, we're going to have to run this file in the air. Now the machine is performing the tool change. The machine comes with a six position automatic tool changer. All six two holders are included. All six tool holder cradles are new, and the machine has been recently calibrated for those new tool cradles. One last look in the keypad, we can actually pull up the job time for the last job. And there it is, the last job took 1 minute 11 seconds. Thanks for watching this video, hope you find this helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us or give us a call.